There are countless ghost stories, usually with the spirits portrayed as malevolent. But what if I told you there is a story in which a spirit was not only the good guy, but a warrior? That spirit describes Shoki the Demon Queller, depicted here by Udagawa Kunisada. This artwork is a 14 feet by 9.5 feet wood block print. It can be seen in the Burrell Collection Museum in Glasgow, Scotland. The inspiration for this piece took place during the Todogawa period in Edo or present-day Tokyo, Japan, which took place from the 1600s to, to 1868. During the Todogawa period, Edo was ruled by a warrior or shogun society. This era was known to be peaceful due to these shogun, especially after the victory on the War of Unification. It was after this war that Japan became a single political unit with the shogun in power. The people and the government of the Todogawa period in Edo, Japan, isolated itself from foreigners, especially with the fear of European powers and Christianity spreading. This was a threat to their own ideology, as people from Edo thought their own emperor as a spiritual authority and a vital symbol to the Shinto religion. Let's take another and closer look at this artwork. Instantly, our eyes are greeted by a massive Asian man who takes up most of the space. This man, or deity, is clearly the focal point of the artwork. The artist uses a variety of calligraphic lines to create a robe around the figure's body. His feet is covered by solid black boots. On the upper right part of this deity's body appears to be an abstract version of a cat or tiger. Moving down to the bottom right, we see a small example of rhythm with the Japanese characters that has been written. The artwork contains contrast with the color scheme as the background is pale and light toned and the outlines of the Shoki have many bold and black lines. Shoki is holding what seems to be a detailed blue line that goes across his body, which is most likely a sword. Shoki is swelling with power here, which is what he symbolizes overall. He also symbolizes the godly version of a samurai, which held high importance during the Todogawa period. Lastly, Shoki represents peace, for nothing can stand in its way and it's ready to explode any demonic forces. As mentioned, samurais were greatly important during the Todogawa period. They held the peace and protected the emperor. However, there was more to the samurai than just battle. In fact, the Tadogawa period became so peaceful that samurais lost their military functions. Instead, they took on political and academic roles. Eventually, samurais became an icon of a perfect role model to society. The only samurai that was all battle was our friend Shoki the Demon Queller. His job was solely to protect the empire and expel any demons. Although the time of the Tadogawa era and samurais has long ended, we still see influences of it in today's entertainment, especially in anime or Japanese cartoon. Samurai Shampoo is a great example of this, as the setting takes place during the Tadogawa era and features a swordsman named Mogen. Mogen saves a young woman named Fu from a band of bad samurais. Little does Mogen know that Fu will end up saving him in return as the series goes along. Even in America do we see bits of Samurai influences. Samurai Jack, for example, a cartoon that first premiered in 2001 on Cartoon Network. Samurai Jack, our main guy, is a Japanese prince whose father receives a magical katana or Japanese sword. This katana is crucial in defeating a coup, a, ship, a shape-shifting demon who escapes imprisonment eight years later. Notice how the outfits of Samurai Jack are similar to the ones of the actual Tagawa period, such as this image right here. For my self-created artwork, I made a snowflake and dagger using the sketchbook app on my laptop. I also added two Mandarin Chinese characters on the bottom right corner. Using inspiration from the color contrast and placement of characters in Kunasada's version of so Ashoki, I made the background a pale light blue and used a variation of mostly dark and some light blue hues to make the snowflake and dagger. The meaning behind this is a visual representation of my Chinese name, which is Shui Li. These are the characters written on the side. 
The English translation is literally "snow dagger." This name was given to me by my Chinese teacher at random to match my English name. However, these two objects happen to be a great personal symbol for myself, for I am always cold, always pale, and have a tongue and wit as sharp as a dagger. Challenge question: How is shoki and samurai still relevant centuries later after the Tadagawa period? Can you think of other historical times or pieces that make their mark in our society or media today?